Hey, welcome back. So for this video, we are going to make a cube out of balsa wood and white elmer's glue. Notice that the dimensions will be 5 centimeters by 5 centimeters by 5 centimeters. And we'll only be using the tools listed here. So try it out after you're watching the video. So as you can see, as we rotate this cube around, we do notice that every side is 5 centimeters by 5 centimeters by 5 centimeters long. So remember to create a diagram before you actually start building. The diagram is going to help you to prevent any mistakes in the future, and you do need to keep in mind that not every single balsa wood piece that you will be using will be the same length. So to make sure that I had a cube, I needed to make sure that my vertical and horizontal pieces were cut correctly, and I needed two different dimensions. So I needed four pieces that were long and were five centimeters long, and then I needed eight pieces that were short at 3.7 centimeters. So although this cube seems pretty basic to build, it is helping you to construct other more complex objects because you're using the same steps for every single device you build. For instance, you need to create a diagram, you need to measure pieces of balsa wood, cut your pieces of balsa wood, sand them, and then finally bind them with glue, but also you need to use clips or clamps to hold them down to make sure they're secure. Binder clips work well to keep your pieces together, but they will leave some indentations, so be careful with that. So at this point, our vertical and horizontal pieces have dried, and we are ready to add the diagonal pieces. Notice that I do not measure my diagonal pieces, I just place them underneath my sides, and then I just mark and cut. So after completing the two sides and adding the diagonal pieces, this ended up being the most annoying part where you had to secure the two pieces together. So in order to do this, you either have to use clamps or heavy objects to keep the pieces bound together as it glue dries. Now that your two sides are secure, you're ready to just add your final diagonals or whatever you want to put inside your inner squares within the cube. So try it out. Ultimately, with a lot of patience, you will end up with your cube and it will look good. So make sure you create it and enjoy. Thank mm -hmm. you.